All right, this is Reckham 247 editor Daniel Pauling. I'm here with Jack Anderson, four-star 2017 offensive lineman. Uh, definitely a big target for Texas Tech. We're out at the Lancaster uh, Satellite Camp. Uh, beautiful Monday afternoon. Jack, thanks for, uh, first of all, thanks for joining me. And just uh, what are you kind of out here doing and, and seeing and checking out and all that? Yes, sir. No, I'm just hanging out. We see the coaches a little bit and uh, just to get a little feel for them and you know, see when they're out recruiting and whatnot. It's a good to uh, just go hang out with them mostly. Who have you been kind of talking to the most uh, out here? Um, Jet a lot, just to get to talk to him a little bit. I saw Jeffrey Okuda up there just hanging out, so it's, uh, it's a fun time. So are you, <laughs> he's kind of trying to recruit you to come join him and block for him a little bit next, in a couple years? Yeah, he is. He is. He's a good guy. And I'll see him in Oregon, so he'll get a little more time there, I guess. Yeah. All right. Uh, just kind of what's going on with your recruitment? Uh, where are you planning maybe to visit this summer? Um, and then just kind of as the fall goes on, maybe catch a couple of games this fall? Um, I'm not, I don't have many big plans for this summer. I'm going to be in Lubbock next week just hanging out, but uh, I know I'm going to be in Oregon for the opening. And I don't know, I might take another out-of-state visit, maybe Oklahoma, or Arkansas, something like that, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do now. i got some time. Okay. And uh, I know, uh, I think maybe Eno is going to come join you, or at least uh, you two are pretty close. Just Eno got his offer a couple of weeks ago from Tech. What did that mean for you? Um, it was big. I mean, he's one of my closest friends in this process, so it was, it was good to see that he could get that offer and he was going to visit with me next week, so we'll see what happens. Uh, do you want to necessarily go to the same school as Eno, or do you maybe see yourselves separated? And, and uh, just how do you kind of see maybe you no, two playing out? You know, I see, I, I can see it's on the same school, me blocking for him would be cool, but uh, I mean, whatever happens, happens. And if I, when I commit, I'll recruit him to that space if he's not already committed. But yeah, maybe, uh, we'll see how it pans out. Definitely. Now, uh, Texas Tech, I think you know you, you made a lot of visits up there. Uh, do you have any favorites or any, any schools that are really standing out for you at this point in time? Um, tech, I like a lot. Of, obviously, it's in the like top five or in there, top ten. But, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to disclose anything big. Right now. It's a little early, so I'll wait on that. All right. Uh, just, you know, you're getting ready for your junior season. What do you uh, What do you feel like your strengths are? Uh, just kind of what do you bring to the field? Um, I just think some uh, nastiness, mainly just uh, run blocking and finishing and, and uh, whatnot and just putting a hand down and getting in there and making some tough blocks and whatnot, but I think, yeah, it'll be a big year for me. Are you expected to play tackle or? or? Yeah, I'll play right tackle, so center was my freshman year. Last year I played tackle. Well, we're switching sides, but now I'm going to be right side most of the time, so it'll be good to be finally set in somewhere. Do you feel comfortable at, at all five spots on the line, or do you have one that you like playing a little bit more? Oh, I can. It's like the opening off park, like guard, a little bit of center. I don't think I'm going to tackle quite yet unless I grow a little more. But, I mean, uh, I, I don't have anywhere that I, that I would like playing more than anywhere else. I mean, I think guard's the most likely landing spot, but I'm not worried about it right now. Okay. Uh, what kind of relationship have you built with Lee Hayes over at Texas Tech? Um, Coach Hayes and I are real close. He, he offered me, obviously, a year ago, maybe a little longer than a year ago. So. It was good to see him. We're real close, and he's like family to me. Just getting to know him a lot, and uh, sad I couldn't see him today, but I'll see him in a week or so. Now, uh, this is a little bit of an oddball question. You've been talking a lot about Chipotle on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of discussion about which school is closest or has the closest Chipotle to campus. Tech fans are probably reminding you one's about a block away from the football facility. Yeah, I mean, when I went to the junior day, uh, I wanted some Chipotle, so I, I walked from the field to the to the restaurant and got some of that on the way there, so I mean, that's, a, that's a definitely a few points plus for a Red Raider Nation. <laughs> Do you have a go-to order at Chipotle? Oh uh, yeah, I mean when I'm real hungry, I like to go for uh, two burritos, that's the main. Uh, maybe a little bit of double chicken if I'm only getting one, but uh, if, I'm, uh, if I'm eating on the low financials, then uh, two is a, a good bet. Alright Jack, well hey, uh, thanks, thanks very much for speaking with us, I greatly appreciate it. and. Uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you and talking to you a lot more, and we'll have a lot more content from Tex Camps and uh, from your recruitment on Reckham247.com. Yes, sir. Thank you.